In this video, we are writing numbers in scientific notation, and this is a standard form for numbers that are written in scientific notation. We have the number 7340. The point is currently at the end when you do not see it, so we need to shift it three places to the left to get it as a number between 1 and 10. We do not need to write the 0 at the end since it will not change the value of 7.34. But we also need this portion, so let's put that in times 10 to a certain power. Now how many places did we shift the point? One, two, three places to the left to get it to become 7.34. That means we'll need to shift it three places back to the right to get it to become 7,340. In other words, 7.34 times 10 to the third power will bring us back to the original quantity, 5,920,000. So the point is at the end, when you do not see it, shift it right after the very first non-zero digit. So it's now a number between one and 10 as 5.92. Adding the zeros at the end will not change the value. This is still a number between one and 10, even if we should put the zeros on once we have the point here. Now we need to multiply by a power of 10 as in the standard form. Now, how many places to the left did we shift the point? Let's look, one, two, three, four, five, six. We passed six digits. That means we need to shift the point six places to the right to get it back to the original 5,920,000. So that's gonna be positive six. We have the number or the quantity, and we'll write that in standard form. We need to move the point one place to the right to get it as a number between one and 10. So we have it as 6.3. Now we need to multiply by a power of 10 to get it in the complete standard form. Now what power of 10 will we use? Now notice that we shift the point one place to the right to get it to become 6.3 but 6.3 is not equal to 0 0.63. So we have to multiply by a power of 10 such that the expression over here will be equal to 0 0.63. That means we'll need to shift the point one place to the left to get it back to the original. So, well, we multiply by 10 to the negative one power. So th what this does, it shifts the point here, one place to the left, so that this value or this expression over here will be 0 0.63. So that's the solution. We have the quantity 0 0.004168 is equal to. So what we want to do here, the point is seen here, so we want to shift it right after the first non-zero digit in the number. So that is now a number between one and 10. Is this quantity over here equal to this one? No. So we need to multiply by a power of 10 such that this expression over here will be equal to this. We need to be able to shift this point a certain number of places to the left so that the value over here is equal to this one. So we moved three places to the right, so we need to shift it three places to the left to get it back to this quantity, and so we use negative three power here. And so this is a solution. Whenever the number starts with zero, we'll have a negative power. If not, then we'll have a positive power. Please subscribe, like, share, comment.